What's up guys and welcome back to another GTA 5 online video. Now in this video guys I'm going to be showing you another awesome modded outfit that has just been created using clothing glitches. So like I say in every episode no modding has been done whatsoever on this outfit. You can do this legitly with glitches. So I really hope you do go on and enjoy the video and let's get into it. So to start off this outfit I'm going to be showing you how you can obtain the joggers. Now I will also leave a link in the video to how you can get coloured joggers. It can be found in the description but in this video I'm just going to be showing you how you can get these pale joggers. So so what you're going to want to do is come to your yacht and head over to your hot tub. Now you need to make sure that you are a CEO, so just open up your interaction menu and register as one. Once you've done that, you're now going to go to management style and you're going to choose the warlord outfit. Once you have found the outfit, you're now going to walk into the hot tub. Now you should notice the swimwear should now appear on your character. So what you're going to do is just open up the interaction menu again, go back to management style and then just swap between the outfit and back again. And then the warlord outfit should reappear on your character. So what you're going to do now is just go ahead and retire as a CEO and then you're just going to re-register as one again. Now what you're going to do is pull out some sticky bombs and you're just going to place them around the side of the hot tub and once you've placed a couple around there you're just going to stand towards the side of the hot tub and then blow yourself up. Now what should happen is once you respawn you should still be wearing the warlord outfit. So what you're going to do now is just go into your yacht and go ahead and just change the outfit up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is just change the jacket maybe change the hat and obviously change the shoes to give us the joggers with the invisible ankles so guys it's how you get that but what you need to do now is just back out of the clothing store or your wardrobe and then just go ahead and retire as a ceo and you should be able to save the outfit So now we've got the joggers, we're now going to get an invisible body and we're going to do the latest invisible body glitch that is working. So in order to do this, you need to make sure that you are not wearing a t-shirt, make sure that your character doesn't have any clothing on the top part, so make sure that they do have no t-shirt on. So what you're just going to do from here is open up your interaction menu, go to gloves and you're just going to keep going one to the right on the gloves, then go one to the right on the chains and just keep repeating this until you do eventually get an invisible torso. Now this may not work if you haven't bought all the gloves or all the chains so just make sure that you have bought them all and then this should work no problem. So as you can see you should have an invisible body with kind of invisible shoulders with the joggers and it does look pretty cool. So yeah go ahead and make sure you do save the outfit. So the next thing we're going to do guys for this outfit is actually do the hat mask and glasses glitch and now i'm pretty sure all of you know how to do this by now but if you don't know how to do this it's really simple you just have to choose a mask that you want to wear on the outfit and make sure it is on your character then you're going to run up to your telescope in your high-end apartment and you're going to run up to it as quick as you can then press right on the d-pad and your character should kind of be glitched out and just be standing there now what you're going to do is open up your interaction menu and choose any hat and glasses that you want to wear on top of the mask so it's up to you on what you want to do for this on this outfit so what we're going to do next is actually put a duffel bag on the outfit. So like I say in all of my modded outfit videos, if you don't know how to get the duffel bag, then I'm going to leave a link in the description to a video I have done previously showing you how to get the duffel bag after the latest patch. So go ahead and check out that video. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can transfer it between different outfits. So what you need to do is come to this location on the map where all the helicopters are, and you're going to come and choose a helicopter, and then you're going to choose the outfit that already has the duffel bag on it. Once you have chosen that outfit, you're then going to get in the helicopter, and and you're going to fly to a suitable altitude and then bail out. Now as you are descending towards the ground, you're just going to hover over the outfit that we have created already and as soon as your character does hit the ground and is about to take his parachute off, you're just going to apply that outfit and you should notice the duffel bag should transfer over pretty nicely. But yeah guys, that is how you create this outfit. I really hope you do like it and have enjoyed the video. Also, I would say that these outfits do look a lot better if you do use the coloured joggers. So like I said at the start of the video, if you want to know how to do that, I will leave a link in the description as well as an annotation on your screen showing you how you can actually get the coloured joggers but yeah guys i really hope you did enjoy the video if you did don't forget to drop a like and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already but with that being said guys thanks for watching and i will see you in my next video